Good afternoon, everybody. It's PK in the Xbox, but he's not on the Xbox. He's on the PC, so I got to start that all over again. It's BK on the PC. Oh, that sounds that sounds shit. That doesn't sound as good. It's just beer and kebab. The racing guru. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, just uh, gonna throw up a little stream. I want to test out a new game, which you might have heard of, F1 Manager 2022, which apparently. Jesus Christ, see you, you are a fucking Sounds omni up. shambles, that's what you are. You're like that coffee machine, you know, from bean to cup, you fuck up. Pumpy, there's only one omni shambles around here, and I'm looking at you. Good afternoon, buddy, how you doing? Where, where'd you get that emote from, by the way? Is that a Boris Johnson emote? That is pretty cool, I like that, I might have to steal that, that's pretty cool. Um... But yeah, it's a game that you might have heard of. It's the, it's the game that's doing the rounds at the moment. It's uh, F1 Manager 22. So we're going to check it out on PC. Uh, so for, I bought the game a few days ago. It's the first time I've had to even have a, a an incy wincy look at it. So let's see what it's all about. I know certainly from the TIR Discord, um, a, lot of, a lot of guys are playing it, particularly on console. But we're going to check out the PC version. And um, I'm going to make it a regular thing as well. Because if the game's good... I'm going to start playing it, and I'm going to start playing it a lot. So we're going to check it out and uh, see what the fuss is all about. And I believe also soon there's some mods coming out for the PC version, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, I subscribe to a uh, a forum called Race Department, and uh, already there's some absolute sweats out there putting out mods for the PC version of the game. So uh, over the next few days, I'm going to check some of them out, integrate them into the game, and see what fun we can have uh, with the game. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do for a little while. And um, I'm going to do now is change screen to my new backdrop. And uh, we'll take a look at this game. Alrighty. What do you think of the new wallpaper? Looks pretty smart, huh? Got the, uh, the World Series logo on there, Beer and Kebab. Prominent at the bottom as well but I'm going to be have to switch it I'm going to keep the camera I'm going to keep on this camera but I'm going to be looking at that monitor because that monitor over there which you can't guys can't see is my gaming monitor one of my two gaming monitors and I'll be going to be running on that particular uh, screen for this little stream uh, Giles comes in an eight month resub wow if I spend much longer in the beer kebab house, I'll end up actually streaming decent content. Oh, mate. Oh, I don't know, mate. I don't know. According to a lot of guys last night, I'm washed. <laughs> yeah. I'm has been. I'm old news, dude. But I'm going to change all that. 
I'm going to change all that. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to change all that. Guaranteed. Big things are coming to this channel soon. I will actually... I'm waiting for an email, believe it or not, for a huge, huge partnership announcement. And no word of a lie, it's a biggie. Biggest I've ever done by a long way. And I'm waiting for a, an email confirmation, which hopefully is going to be sometime after the bank holiday. And then it's going to be stratosphere time, ladies and gentlemen. But okay, well, let's, uh, let's go and... Uh, I'll, t I'll tell you more about that over the next coming days. But let's... Um, Let's get this game loaded. Let's load this game for the first time and let's see what it's all about. Okay, so um, let's check it out. This, of course, is the PC version uh, of the game. So uh, hopefully the audio is going to be good. I, I, to, to be honest, I've been lazy. I've not checked the PC gaming audio settings in like a year and a half, which is the last time since I did any PC gaming, which I streamed. But I'm going to take a little look at it. God, that's loud! Okay. That's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. Nice bassy effect. I like that. Oh, hello. Oh, some familiar music. is number one now you see he's on on all gef one games now it's no longer hamilton as the uh, the last driver you see it is super max himself okay got some new music i kind of like that sort of synth wave kind of deal yeah let's have a little listen it's kind of like atmospheric music that's pretty good Oh, I, I like that. Oh, I like this. Can you guys hear me okay, by the way? Am I, am I not too loud? Am I good? Can you give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down in the chat? Yeah? That'd be great. I tell you, I'm liking this soundtrack. It's kind of got that kind of sci-fi movie synth wave kind of feel about it. It's always good to have a good bit of music. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. Okay, let's uh, accept the agreement. Because you've got to scroll down, move to the garbage, blah, 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 blah. Let's accept that. Okay. That, I, I do like this. I do like this. Uh, so look at the settings. Let's have a little look, see what we're going to go through. So, uh, pause radio, pause tape, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, audio. That's all turned up. Okay, we're going to run this uh, QHD on the PC, so it's 2560 by 1440. Hopefully the frame rate should be good. Custom graphics, ultra settings across the board. All right. Okay. Yeah, even I can see that. Okay, that's all, that's all good. All right. But any further ado, I think let's, uh, let's start a career, shall we? Let's see what this game's all about. Ooh. A sport that spans hearts, minds, and nations, where the 20 best drivers in the world come together to take on some of the world's most historic circuits. And that legacy continues today. The 2021 championship was thrilling from start to finish, and 2022 is set to be even better. New regulations will usher in an age of pioneering changes, New driving talent alongside returning champions will be dueling it out to the bitter end. The pressure will be on the team principals in the upcoming season as they manage their drivers, their cars and the whole team to push to victory. This is not a challenge for the faint-hearted. This is Formula One. Okay. Yeah, nice little intro. Kind of like that. Bit of cool. Gives you a good idea of the game. Okay, right. Mercedes here we go then. Oh. F1 in 2010, 
and since 2014 they've won the Constructors' Championships back-to-back -back every year. In 2021 they took home the Constructors' Championship once more, although they narrowly missed out on the Drivers' Championship coming in second. Heading into 2022, Mercedes will insist on dominating the competition. Nothing less than the fastest car right, and the most okay. wins will give the Silver Arrows the outcome they want to see at the end of this new season and beyond. Okay, so this this uh, area, this menus, that's obviously a bit of stats on each team. Drivers, engineers, yeah, okay. Bit of history as well, pretty good. But we're not going for Mercedes, no, 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 no. We're going to do this the hard way, guys. We're going to do a career, we're going to do it properly. Let's jump in. I think probably the worst car on the grid. Uh, Red Bull, just get in. So the Red Bull team Red Bull. burst onto go. the F1 scene in 2005. Okay. Alpine was a Alpi Ooh, Alpha Alpine. Tauri have yeah. been a name in. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be these guys, isn't it? What do, what do you reckon, Formula guys, for the for the first they career? Onto the scene with Aston Sebastian Martin, Vettel, the legendary four-time world champion, in one of those coveted driving seats. Despite some teething problems in testing, Aston Martin gave a solid showing and finished the season in seventh place overall. Heading into 2022 with Lance Stroll, or do we go Williams? Williams is a legendary name in F1, winning nine constructors' championships in their heyday. The Williams family sold the team in 2020, and the 2021 season saw them fighting well from start to end. They finished eighth overall. I'm going to go Williams. I'm going to go Williams. All right, shut up, Crofty. I've had enough of you, man. You washed as a commentator, a bit like in me. Go away. In 2022, Williams have Nicholas Latifi and new signing Alex Albon returning to F1 after a year away to make up their driver team. He's British. He, the he's pressure not, is on for them to up their he's performance not amazing. He's British, season isn't he? and push their way he's, back he's hiding his heritage. those midfield places. All right, so enough of that nonsense. Okay, Pazuzu, how you doing, man? Long time no see, hope you're doing well. Uh, Gilo, if you're picking a bad team, be patient, mate. I'm 52 years old. I personify patience. <laughs> And I think picking Williams, I need to be extremely patient. Uh, okay, you're all doing Aston Martin. Okay, Division 2. Right, so let's um, let's give myself a decent name, shall uh, Full name. Okay, so I just... All right, okay, okay. All right, well, it's got to be beer, isn't it? All right. That nah, doesn't look right, is it? Yeah, it does. It does. It does look right. All right, beer and kebab. There we go. First time guidance. I presume that's some kind of help screen. All right, we're going to go in there. Um, yeah, we're going to confirm that. Okay, let's go in and let's check it out. Hi there. Okay. Oh. Nice to meet you. Hey, Audrey. I'm Audrey How you Mesa, doing? one of the team's senior engineers. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the team. It's great to have you on board. It's good to be here. Thank you so much, Audrey. I greatly appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. All right, so that's Audrey done we and dusted. Oh, hello. Recently here at Williams, so you're joining us at a very exciting time. I'm sure you'll settle right into the team. Let's get you shown around. Roger that, Audrey. I'm um, all yours. Yeah. As our new team principal, you're responsible for a lot of aspects of the team. Everything from managing our team's mm -hmm. growth, overseeing our finances, and deciding on race day strategies will be in your hands. Yeah, Roger that. Okay, can I you just can get on with it? You can keep an eye on most things nope. from your dashboard here. Mm -hmm. I can take yeah. you through it now. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to, Audrey. I'm sure you've got other things you want to be getting on with, darling. But all right. First up, an overview of the board. They're the ones who the set goosey. the expectations for the team. How you doing, if man? If they're confident in your leadership, you'll be fine. If they lose confidence in you, however, they might look to replace you. Okay, so basically, uh, it's like any other business, isn't it, really? You know, it's either succeed or you're sacked. Do you know what I mean? I'm very good, thanks, Magusi. Three favourite things in life, beer plus kebab, and then you combine the two together. What can I say? Quote of the day. All right, so, um, yeah, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, Audrey. She's getting on my tits now. Reaching them will help keep confidence high. So be sure to familiarise yourself with what's expected. You'll want to keep an eye on the long-term objective for beyond this season as well. I'm just here for the booze and the hooker, sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? 
Okay then, let's look ahead to the race weekend. We need to start preparing for the next Grand Prix, which will uh, be the yeah, first okay. of the season. What is this, Drive to Survive or something? Who hired this woman? As it's your oh. first day though, there's nothing urgent for you to address. Feel free to explore more, or you uh. can select continue and sign off for the day. Once you do, time will pass. But don't worry about missing anything. You'll automatically yeah. sign back in if an important event comes up. Thanks, Audrey, but I've got to say, sweetheart, you're boring me. You know, right now, I'm, I'm on the verge of just saying, stuff this, and I'm off to play PUBG. You know? Just let me do my thing. I know what I'm doing. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, but I want to learn. I don't need you telling me what to do. Oh, thank goodness, she's gone. Wow, Helino says this woman is so annoying. Uh, yeah, I, absolutely, 100%. Joshua Davis 24 says, all right, beer. I do believe that's Mr. Jish. Jish, how you doing, man? How you doing, my friend? You know what I'm going to say, Jish. You know what I'm going to say. Get people followed on Twitter. Get yourself back in at comms booth. Do what you do, which is providing absolutely fantastic F1 content. You know it makes sense, dude. You know it makes sense. Okay. Gotifi, not Latifi. Jesus Christ, this guy. Oh. Okay, right, let's have a look then. So, what do we got then? Um, the season objective is ninth or above. Is that for the team? Is it that for, is that for I presume that's a team? That's a team deal. Uh, long term objective is a points contender. Unfortunately, this is real life F1 Williams. This is not TIR. The top 15 don't score points. So, I think I'm up against it here a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's have a look at my inbox. Okay. Oh, she's here again, Audrey. Can't get rid of this woman. Uh, this is my inbox. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, sweetheart. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Done that. Roger that. Okay, yeah. Let's look at the calendar. This is your oh, calendar no. for the month. Pay attention to the events that have been marked. Yeah. The race weekends have already been added for you. More events will get added as the season progresses. All right, Roger that. Thank you, Audrey. Greatly appreciate it. Go and put the kettle on. Right, okay. So, um... We have a look at is that my settings? Oh, okay, okay, that's uh, just that. Okay, um, circuits, race, cars, drivers. Also, oh, I think my staff. Who've I got it's on the not staff just the team? the fastest car that makes the team the best in F1. It's the people doing the hard work behind the scenes. Okay. Manage your staff from here, from department heads to your pit crew, and keep up to date on their performance. Right, I tell you what then. Um, let's look at the engineering team. Right, so that's my monthly salary is thirty nine thousand. What's my budget? What's my budget for these for these people? How do I find that? Let's go back here a little bit. Um, look at the pit crew. Okay, all right. They're on fifty k a month. So I'll just I'm going to go to my finance screen. Here you can delve deeper into team finances and see our balance, as well as understanding information on income and rewards okay. and the enforced spending caps we have to abide by. Right, so I'm good then. So how much money do I have got the kitty? So I've got 20 million the kitty. Alright. And I'm expected to make a huge profit this season. As you can see, they're down there, 138 mil, and that's what by the end of the season. So that's going to be like prize money, bonuses, and all that kind of stuff. So I've got the breakdown of that then. This is for you accounts nerds out there. Driver contracts. 1.7 million there for uh the drivers, okay, yeah, facilities. All right, let's have a quick look at that. All right. Okay. What? 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 What the fuck? fuck Jay? What the what? 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 What the fuck? Right, cost cap limits or spending anything that may impact a car's performance. The only time that the team may break the cost cap is if they need to make an emergency purchase, but this will incur a fine. All right, so. I've spent 114 million. So that's what I've got I can spend, yeah, I take it this season. Okay. Alright. Uh sponsorships. Okay. So I'm presuming that initially I need to do some other things before I can actually get new sponsorship and whatnot. Don't forget to check in with the board often. 
You can monitor board confidence levels, your available budget, and your progress towards a greater team rating from here. Okay. Oh, no, that's my budget there. 50 million. Okay. Okay. Now, can I sack my drivers straight away? Can I sack them? This is where you'll find relevant information on the team's drivers and reserve driver, including their performance ratings and contract details. Okay. You can also scout for new drivers to make sure we have the best driver pairing we can. Hey, Matty. How's it going, man? Antonio Giovinazzi. Okay. Ah, you've got to buy out their contract. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I might, do you know what? I might just let these two guys have a little cheeky little race first just to see um, how they're getting on. This so, is where you carry out. Yeah, shut up, Bert Audrey. Right, okay. So let's have a look at the performance targets again. All right. So how did you get new uh, is it facilities to get new From here, you can oh, see all right, the team's okay. facilities. Okay, I get it, I get it. All right, team facilities impact every area of your team. From top quality of your car to the rate of your drivers improve. Building a new facility can take time and money, and all facilities have a monthly upkeep to keep the budget for, okay? Uh, upgrading, it's a facility can be upgraded to improve their effectiveness. Upgrade facilities, blah, 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 blah. Uh, refurbishing, okay, yeah, so you have to basically Refurnish the place from time to time. Watch that. Over time, for si shut up. Um, and that's costing at the moment 1.5 mil. All right. Um, now this is what I want to. I need to upgrade this. I reckon. Scam department. 25 days, two out of five. Yeah, yeah. Let's get that done. Um, uh, up to 100%. You see, it's only, it's only a 450. Do I really want to spend that money early doors? That's the question. Yeah, let's we'll do that. And let's, uh, let's spend a shit ton of money, shall we? Right, so that's some upgrades getting done. That's expensive. Maybe not. If the board think for one minute I'm going to spend a load of money so they can sit their fat asses down drinking Dom Perignon while I'm trying to run this team. They got nothing coming. In fact, I want to down. How'd you, da how'd, you, how'd you downgrade this? I want to downgrade this. They can sit on cardboard boxes for all I care. All right. One of my favourite places. Mm. This is where the car builds happen, and where we develop and store our car parts. Throughout the season, you'll want to make sure the team are working on upgrading components and that both cars are being kept in good repair. You can also use car analysis to compare our car builds to other teams. Okay. So, Matty, you just did Monaco and Matifi got lapped four times. I tell you what, it's like art imitates real life, mate, isn't it? You know what I mean? Right, can you adjust this over here? Is this... Okay, that's based on what I've currently got then. Okay. 
Oh, research is locked. I can't do anything anyway for the time being, but I look fit. So I presume I've just got to kind of go all in, really, haven't I? And just to start a project now, you'll need to commit money and engineering time. There are three different types of projects the engineering team can work on. We can design a new car part for you. Okay, you want to get started with a design project. Right, I've got a question for you Please in the chat. You can also be Shut up. Take um, a look over the different. A question for you guys in the chat. Bearing in mind, of course, what's been happening in real life with all the um, porpoise and stuff like that. Is Has that been built into this game? So, like, certain cars are naturally bouncing around all over the place compared with, say, Red Bull or Ferrari? Because I'm obviously I've been looking at things like the underfloor, possibly, if that is the case. Only if you guys can give me a bit of a heads up on here. Well, should I just go all in for the first race of the season and see what happens? Bit too short to do. So now, I'm going to go all in. There's no porpoise in. Right, okay. Um, a legend has joined the kebab house. Crew. Right, why can't... Okay, what, what haven't I done yet? Today, aerodynamic... Okay, so my... Test uh, thing with jiggies. How do I fast forward this? That's great. That's so something I need to do. What do I need to do, chat? Foreman comes in with a 24 month resub. Two years, Kev. My goodness me, where has the time gone, my man? Thank you so much for the recommitment to the channel, dude. For both you and Jilo, double thumbs up there from the Racing Gear. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Don't forget, fresh, uh, refresh the stream, mate, so you don't get any um, those pesky adverts. But uh, welcome back, my man. Um, I'm just working out what to do here because I'm kind of stuck. I, I think I, do I need to do something here? Because I cannot continue to the race weekend. So I'm kind of like, what do I do? Okay, I don't want to develop anything at the moment. I don't want to commit myself. Okay, let's have a quick look for these menus here. Let's look at this a minute real quick. Every team will con Okay, I think I've already looked at that, haven't I? I looked at both teams. Right, so, I want to continue to the next race. How do I do that? What have I not done that I need to do? What do I need to do to, to forward the game? Ah, review targets. Okay, so I need to go to, to the board. You need to, um, I believe you have to design, I have to design a new part. Okay, so a new project, yeah? Okay, so let's, um, let's remember where that was now. Uh, cars. Excuse me, I need to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Touch a hay fever. All right, well, I'm going to go, um, Friendly front wing, I think. The team's expertise in making new car parts improves with experience, so each new design is likely to be better than an older one. Just make sure to check the new design against the one currently installed. Testing okay. is also an important step in designing okay. a new car part. Our testing time is limited throughout the season, and it's up to you to decide how much to commit to each design project. If you assign some testing time to this design now, you can see what effect it will have on the car part. Once you've taken a look, let's continue. Right, so let's just give it, say, two man hours. Give it a couple of hours in the wind tunnel. Not that many hours in the wind tunnel, don't need that many.
This is just for now, right? Okay, yeah. We'll just give it three man hours. Um, yeah, three man hours now. And we'll test it. It went on for a couple hours, and let's uh, you can direct see what happens. the engineering team to focus on specific areas of performance. F1 car parts are complex, and sometimes you'll have to sacrifice performance in one area mm -hmm. to achieve gains in another. Over the season, we'll understand more about our car's performance, which will help you to guide the team's design focus. You can try altering the focus now if you like, or else stick with a balanced approach. As a final step before the team gets started on this design project, you need to decide how many engineers you want working on it. You should also decide what approach they should take. Okay, thank you, uh, Audrey. Bear in mind, these decisions oh, will Christ. have an impact on the duration and cost of the project. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we're going to rush for this first upgrade, I think. It's going to cost a mil, but hey, there we go. Tons of money left in the bank. Let's do it. Nice work. That's the project started. If you check your calendar, you'll see the team have given you a delivery date for the design. Okay. Once it's complete, you'll be able to continually design in new car parts. It's imperative to improve in our team's... Yeah, all right. Right, so we've got testing in two days. Okay, we've got a sponsorship thing coming up on the 11th, what's on the 12th? Pre-season testing. When is this upgrade going to be done then? Is that it there? Oh, that's for the sim. Right, okay. All right, let's just get on with it. It's no longer your first day. <clears throat> we'll have you on top of things in no time. You'll continue so then, what's a, am I a good boss? Until it's time so far, race, would you come and work for me? you can see in the upcoming events list. It's good to get in the habit of regularly checking that list. Okay. Let's take a look at Jesus what needs Christ. doing today. You have an alert in the top corner. There's an important email awaiting a response, so you should check your inbox when you're ready. Is this my Pornhub subscription? All right, here we go. Got a couple of emails. Rah rah! How are you doing? Says the F1 guru on this dude. You're in for a treat. This is a gorgeous and brilliant game. Yeah, I kind of obviously it's like um it's football manager, isn't it? In F1 cars. So it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Obviously, I've just jumped into this completely um new. I've not I looked at it, I've, I don't know nothing about it. So I've just having a look through. Um starting a career with um Williams. And uh, we'll just see uh, see what happens, basically. So anyway, that's that's Audrey. Yeah, she's pretty talkative. Oh yeah, believe me, she is talkative. Uh, good morning, Beer. Allow me to introduce you to our talented car development team. The technical chief is Mr. Francois Xavier Damasson. Welcome, dude. Head of Aerodynamics, David Weezer. They will send their expert. They'll be lend, sorry, their expertise to new car park design projects to help us build a competitive car this season. A competitive car on the Williams? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, mate. Okay, got an email here. Sponsors. It's all like, this, this is this is, this is is my kind of thing. Morning, Beer. Just realised that you joined the team a little, bit too, a little bit too late to negotiate our sponsor obligations of the season. Are you kidding me? It's never too late. Just, hey, listen. Let's get on the phone right now. Speak to my guys at EE and we'll make this happen. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'll have a look at the sponsorship obligations in a bit, dude. Alright. I'll have a look now then if you insist. Okay, former students. Williams, anyone will work, work there for easy money. Okay. I think it's, it's a British team, mate, isn't it? You know what I mean? And uh, I want to try and, you know, be a, be a bit patriotic. You know? Rydog, how you doing? Good to see you. That's Mr. Sneaky Wolf, isn't it? Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, Rydog says, uh, um, is that 12th? Was that say there? Something, something Alfa Romeo up to Miami. Fourth in the constructors after four races. Fourth in the constructors and then Alfa Romeo. Are you using grip hacks or something, Rava? My God, that's impressive, dude. That's impressive. 
so let's have a look at this um what have i got then in my sponsorship pool so um i'm getting 742 grand so about three quarters of a million uh quid a month it doesn't it doesn't say who the company is is it okay right so that yeah that's all pretty boring stuff really that's one for the bean counters um the, uh, Looks okay. like you've received a budget oh, hello. Party. Most of the team's budget is decided by the board at the start of the season, plus whatever we get from last season's prize money and any extra sponsorship revenue we earn. Watch that. I'll have a look at that. So, morning bit. We've had an idea for a season kickoff party to bring everyone together to celebrate, help celebrate the team. We need a budget approval. If you want to go ahead, what do you think? Well, yeah, I want a party. I want some beer. I want some um, some kebabs in there. Maybe some of those little um, canapes, you know, the, the little the little Chicago canapes. That'd be quite nice. It's going to cost me ten thousand. Oh, ten thousand dollars, man. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Um, but yeah, we'll confirm that. I reckon that's a good decision. I think it so too. Keep the team in high spirits. Anyway. I, I agree. I agree, Audrey. And I like my spirits. Bacardi, vodka, bit of whiskey. I'm there. I know what you're saying. Now this is going to be a good party. We can focus on our first Grand Prix of the season. The race weekend is still a few days away. So move forward when you're ready. All right, let's have a little look then. There's always some final work to do before we can set off. Check your inbox for the race prep report on this weekend's circuit. I will do. I will do. Thank you, Audrey. You've been a great help. Better than Codzilla. He's lousy with me in the comms booth. But, but you, Audrey, you've got it. You know what I mean? I thought you were a bit of a pain in the ass at first because you would not stop talking. But now I'm getting to know you. You know what I mean? I think, I think we can work together. That's what I'm thinking. Um, Jason, is I taking tonight or will it be required again? Oh, Christ. Um, big twos. Uh, no, sis twos. Um... Can I see how I feel in an hour or two, mate? I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here at the moment with a heat pack on my back. So, can I get back to you, dude, in a bit? And I, I, I will give you a definitive answer. All right, let's have a look at the... Um, so, anyway, did I have the party? I can't remember. It must have been a good party because I can't remember it, guys. You know what I mean? Okay, morning beer. This is from David Wheater, head of uh, Aerodynamics. Morning beer with uh, Bahrain testing behind us. We now know where our car stands versus the other teams. I've attached a report below detailing our car's performance. We should use this information to guide our car park design strategy throughout the season and minimise any performance weaknesses. Regards, David. Right, okay, so... Um, <laughs> it's not looking good, guys. Okay. Um, top speed on 19th, you know, Shaggy with a broken legs quicker than me at the moment. Acceleration 19th, oh, that's not good. Uh, I suppose media cornering 17th on the, oh, Jesus, it's not, it's not looking good, guys, is it? It's, it's, it's really not. Um, I want to have a quick look at this because, um, where's my existing... Right, that's already in progress, isn't it? That's my front wing. Okay, so we're going to come out of that. We're going to come out of that. We're going to come out of that, and we're going to go to mail. Okay, you have all the information you should need. Let's head to race preparation to see... So I've quick look at this testing bit. So, yeah, basically, it's not looking really good at the moment. It's going to be a tough first race of the season, I think, of Bahrain. Okay, the Bahrain uh, Grand Prix is almost here. So I want to make sure the team's prepared. Yep, yep. Uh, circuit info, performance targets, and our car builds are using our best uh, part designs. I shall go and check that race preparation. Okay, this so. is your race preparation area, where you'll get the team ready for the upcoming race weekend. Okay. You can also find all the information you need on the circuit we're racing on here. Okay, so it's high. It's quite an abrasive track, so it's going to be. Quite high tide deck. Give me a safety car. One thing you always need to do. Yeah. Okay. Pedro de la Rosa has got a. Is that is that real? That's not. That's, that's, that's not right, is it? Anyways, 
So all car parts are, 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 are on. Okay. Um, these things are, I guess these are things that have improved a little bit. Okay. Uh, Giles says, word of warning, uh, in future races, if you don't have spare front wings, then you have no replacements for mid-race, that if you get f front wing damage. Right, so I need to build another front wing, yeah? Okay. Um... Here we've got the performance targets for this coming weekend. If we meet these, we'll gain extra revenue. Okay. Looks like we've got incentives for both the qualifying I have spares, and thank the you. race. If we can reach those targets, we'll get an additional payout, and it won't cost the team anything if we don't meet them. All right, we so let's also up. decide oh, to add targets here and offer our sponsors guarantees. These are a risk as we face a potential financial loss if we don't meet them. But if okay, if you want to offer a guarantee for this weekend, a I think we need to just kind of not take a lot of risks racing them more in the season because um, we're in a crap car. Pre-season testing has not been good. So I think we need to just um, go with what's going on here. So that is going to... Um, so qualifying position, reach Q3. That feels like something we can achieve without too much difficulty. <laughs> the reward if we meet the guarantee is good, and the potential loss doesn't seem too bad either. Do I have to go through pre qualifying or something? Which key? Th oh, no, no, I'm not going to. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no, we're no. done here. No, no, we're not done. I'm not going to. Oh. We're not going to make Q3, are we? Which key 2 Oh, I don't know. Fastest lap of the race. You could, yeah. I suppose if I pit the cars on the penultimate lap, there's a chance, isn't there? Um, all right, let's try, okay. Let's go in there then. You've done everything needed, and the team can't wait to get started. It's time for the first race of the season. You can. All right, let's do this, this, huh? When you're ready, let's get this show on the road. Yeah, that's... Uh... Oh, shit. Where's the game gone? Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm... I must admit, I'm terrible. This uh, uh, Jarlo, Jarlo said I'd got to have patience, but I just want to like, Welcome I just want to get the in there. Welcome to the archipelago of Formula One. Bahrain oh. might have a small land footprint, but it's showing its big spirit right now in the grandstands. Either way, it's time for another fantastic weekend of Grand Prix racing. Okay, the Bahrain International good. Circuit is a challenging track, and the cars routinely have to brake from high gear to low to take the narrow turns. With the need for downhill braking, the risk of locking up is one drivers will need to manage. It's all about focus and balance to get victory mm. here. We might still be early in the season, but that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs, and nothing is certain at this stage. Let's get this underway. Guys, are you getting some frame rate lag? I'm getting a lot of skip frames Great here, and I don't know why. Welcome to your first race weekend with the team. It's Friday, so we're kicking off with free practice one as usual. I need to turn this off for a second. I need to check something out here. Yeah, yeah, okay. I want to go into my settings here. What are you on about? I'm pressing pause and... Oh, right, okay, yeah. I'm. Tr this is very, very unusual. I'm trying to work out whether I've got... Hello, 
bloody Streamlabs. Do you know what, guys? I'm just checking something. Again, Streamlabs has like weekly updates. It's done a weekly update. It's put me onto all the wrong settings, like using software encoders and stuff like that. No wonder it's bloody laggy. Oh, Jesus, I tell you. Just check this real quick. I need to check these settings. Okay, we'll put the game back on again. Uh, what's my favourite burn kebab? Um, lamb sheesh with um, chilli sauce that puts hairs in your nipples and uh, some, not a, lot, not a lot, but a little bit of garlic mayo. Not a huge amount. Not a huge amount. Okay, so that's uh, the possibilities. Uh, what what are we, realistically are we going to do here? You know, that, that's, that's the key thing. Over here is our race preparation area. Rest assured the team have... Right, so he actually knows nothing about the track. Well, he's a bit of a burk, isn't he? During race weekends, you can decide... As it's your first race weekend, you should let the team handle the practice. Should I let them handle it? Okay. Thank you for joining us as our race weekend unfolds. Free practice has concluded and qualifying awaits. There's very little time to relax because each and every driver will need to bring their Let's A game again. to the track for qualifying. They'll need to push themselves to the limit if they're to be challenging for a strong grid position. You simply never know what you'll see. Right, I've got to make some settings changes here because Streamlabs is funky as hell. Why is it... Trying to work out why it's doing what it's doing. Oh, God, why is Streamlabs playing up? Two sex guys. Okay. It seems to be alright. I don't know what's going on there. Right, so let's see just how uh, our crowd. <laughs> well, there we go. Yes, poor old uh, Albon and Latifi. It's not looking good there. A couple uh, 100s per second off the uh, the Aston Martins. 
Well, apart from actually Latifi is better. Jesus Christ, Latifi's slow. He's like a second off the pace. My God, the guy is useless. To help maximise our driver's performance, the team have them work on three goals during practice: track acclimatisation, car parts knowledge, and setup confidence. Okay. If you manage the session yourself, you might get an even better performance from the drivers for the. Right. Time for qualifying. Qualifying takes place. Okay, car's ready. Let's start qualifying then, shall Same we? as practice. The team can handle qualifying for you if you like. Let's get you hands on for this round though. Just to make sure. Okay. Our drivers need to be set in their fastest possible lap times. So we can keep a careful eye on right then. Right, why can't I configure the is that the like the minimum fuel or something? Radio check. Radio check loud and clear. Why is it so no. laggy? No. That's how he gets on there and there's outlap. Hey, where's Bielemetry? We need Bielemetry here. From the data view, you can see live data from the current. Here, you can also view there's. Okay, that's handy, yeah. Each car is fitted with a number of onboard cameras, so you can see the action as it happens. You can also use the map view if you like. It gives you a good overview of the whole track and all the cars. Remember you're managing two drivers throughout the session, so make sure to keep... Shall I actually try and make the Williams look a bit fast? That's more like it, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that Williams, is, that's rapid. Look how fast he's going. He's going even faster. Oh, my word. Oh, I don't want to do, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Rear view. Okay. I oh, see. Cause it, it won't go faster than uh, two, two times in. That starts hot lap. Making his way then starts the uh, starts his flying lap now, and it's down to turn one. 110 degree hairpin comes down, drops down, points a second gear, back on the pad. Where, where's my telemetry? Where's my, where's my HUD? Oh, he's making his way down the S's, down towards turn number eight. Of course, tricky part of the circuit in this hairpin. Easy to spin up the back tyres as you get on the power. Rolls it through, quickly back on the power again, making his way up through turn eight. Down towards a double left hand of a turn nine, turn ten. Very, very tricky. Again, it's all about getting traction out of the kick corner. Back on the power, DRS activated as he makes his way up towards turn number 11. The uphill S is the corners of doom. Let's see how he gets on, throws the car in. God, he's all over the place, isn't he? He's driving like a tier nine driver. Up through turn 12, top of the hill. At uh, turn at number 13, see how he gets on. Yeah, nicely through there, back on the power, making his way down the hill towards the final two corners, a double right hander of turns 14 and 15. I want to take uh, manual control. I don't, I'm not quite sure how I do this. Yeah, let's... Uh... Right, okay, so what am I doing now? Managing pace will right. help you manage a car's tyre temperature and wear. Okay. Well, Keep an eye on the tyre condition of both cars. Over time, tyre condition will fall, 
reducing their grip and performance, eventually leading to tyre failure. It's push, push, push. Fuel commands allow drivers to manage their car's fuel consumption. Just keep an eye there. on your remaining fuel. If we run out, the car will be forced to retire. Yeah, shut up. Christ, we're 1.8 seconds off. Come on, guy, you can do it. Get on the power. What's your tyre wear like? Not looking too bad. What a push lap. Then we'll get, we'll get him to come into pits after this lap. Thanks, Bumpy. Making his way down now towards turn 10. Nicely through there. DRS open, back on the power, making his way down towards turn 11. Come on, uh, Mr. Goatee Fee, what have you got in the tank, mate? What have you got in the tank? Oh, he's coming to the garage, is he? No, I want you to do another push like your donkey. Oh, what an idiot. Suck in. Jesus Christ, see you. You are a fucking omni shambles. That's what you are. You're like that coffee machine, you know. From bean to cup, you fuck up. All right, so we've got... Um driver is back in the pits. You need to reconfigure the car before we can send them back. The team will make sure the run plan is up. Here you can see all the... We want maximum... If a driver needs an additional performance push for a short time, they can adjust their ERS strategies and use any battery charge they There are three ERS strategies that do harvest. Brilliant. The car's ready to head back out at your safe. Yeah, okay, shut up. Just shut up, uh, Audrey. You're becoming a real pain in the arse, sweetheart. Right, so uh, Alvin's on his outlap at the moment. We've just got him, um, obviously, low fuel mode, just uh, just easing around. Get a decent installation lap, and then we're going to push. Push, push, push. We'll turn everything up. Give it everything. See if we can smash the TV off the planet. Reduce lifting case. Yes. Can push through all corners. Okay. Just use the overtake. Copy. I like this. This is pretty good, isn't it? Oh, he spun it! What a Let's donkey! Take a closer look. Now oh, Bob. Oh, you dropped the back Albon. end. Why is it blacky so much? What a spin! going to be a big blow to the team will oh, they be able mate. to recover we'll see let's see what he can do get that stupid car out of my way Jesus Christ was that an Aston Martin I think it was, wasn't it? Oh, 
That's not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. Just coming out of turn eight now. I think what we'll do is actually uh, just pause it at the end of this particular lap because I want to take, I want to go offline and take a look at uh, some of the uh, graphics settings as to why I've got a lot of frame rate issues, which I can't work out. Right, coming around the final corner. What has he done? Go on, matey. Tell me you've done something good. I don't think you have. He's half a tenth. Ask us, I suppose he had that spin, didn't he, on the, uh, on the outlap. I'll tell you what, let's, um, let's bring him in. I, what I'm going to do, guys, I need to uh, pause the game. Okay, oh, I need to finish off, get off that screen. All right, okay. So hopefully we need pit so I can save it. Alright. Quicker than knock on though, he's had a bit of a mare. Six tenths down on Albon even. That's a bit of a shocker. Jesus. Let's pretend to do the internet because on my, on, the, the, on my monitor it's running at like 160 frames a second. And yet here, I'm looking at the other monitor, which is what you guys are seeing, there's so much lag. And I can't work. That's bizarre. Yeah, I'm going to end the stream after this, uh, this, this lap, I think, because there's some testing. I need to do a few checks. You know what, I'm just going to quit to the main menu. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to call it a day there because I've got some testing I need to do because I'm not happy with the amount of um, frame rate issues I'm having. Um, in terms of, the actual game itself is running perfectly fine. Uh, it is on my screen anyway, but um, I, I've got, I've got this, the, the monitor that I'm looking at now, which is my output monitor, this is what you guys see. As you might have seen, there's a lot of, like, it's, it's juddering, and I don't know why um, that is. I need to do some investigation on as to why that's happening. So, um, uh, and my back's hurting like hell as well, to be honest with you. So let me jump off for a bit. Thank you for tuning in and uh, give me some little tips. And I'm going to get it all working, and then I want to start making a regular um, sort of, uh, you know, a regular stream of this this career um, on um, F1 Manager, and we'll we'll go from there. All right, but uh, thanks to uh, thanks for the subs as well, guys. Really appreciate that. By the way, welcome back uh, to the channel, you guys who recommitted. But I'm going to say cheerio for now, and uh, and may see you guys a little bit later on. Okay, but for now, take care. Godspeed. <laughs>